Hey guys, so we just got done riding the new Kawasaki versus X250. It's uh, Kawasaki's latest baby touring machine. Um, we rode it, uh, I think about 120, 130 kilometers. We are currently in Rawang. We went out. We went through some off-road uh, off-roads. You can see the bike is really dirty. My shoes and you know, for a bike for that costs twenty three thousand seven hundred eighty nine of this size, two hundred and fifty cc. Uh, I had a lot of fun riding this. I, I, it's not the most powerful machine in the world. This thing struggles to even do 150 kilometers per hour. Uh, I managed 161, but it was on a downhill though. So yeah, it's an incredibly fun machine. Actually, I can see, I can totally see the appeal in this bike. Um, the thing about this is even though it's considered a, a touring machine, it's, it's rather full size. I mean, I'm, I'm about six feet tall and I could get quite comfortable in this. I must say that I was really comfortable riding this. I had a lot of fun riding this. Um, it has the same seat as the uh, the Versys, the Kawasaki Versys, um, except that it's running the same, let me see, four stroke, uh, twin cylinder, uh, 250 engine, 249 cc engine. No, it's not incredibly powerful. It, it produces just 31 horsepower and 21.7 newton meters of torque. Uh, yeah, I'll show you how it sounds. It's really uninspiring. Yeah, it's not something that's very inspiring. It's not meant to be particularly powerful but it's meant to be something that you can just rely on to take you to really distant places and not give up on you uh, it's it's an uncomplex rather simple machine uh, to ride you could ride this anywhere in the world I mean you could ride this from here to Buenos Aires and if it breaks down on you in the middle of Africa it's so it's so it's such a simple machine to, to fix that um, yeah, anybody could maintain it. So it's our first impression. Uh, as usual, Kawasaki Malaysia would be giving this bike to us again. So we reserve our judgment uh, till then. But for now, what I want to tell you is this thing, despite everything, is incredibly fuel efficient. I mean, we did, we did about um, 120 kilometers. And it's just, you know, two bars. We just dropped two bars. And you still have a range of about 340, 339 kilometers. So roughly, this thing has a fuel tank of 17 liters. 17 liters giving you, giving you a range of about 500 kilometers. Now that is something very impressive. Um, comfortable, comfortable, yes, if, even some, uh, for somebody my height. Uh, the suspension up front, uh, telescopic fork with 44, 41 millimeters of travel. At the back, bottom link, unitrack, uh, single shock, yeah, not, not very adjustable, but I really must say the Kawasaki has a winner in their hands with the Versus X250. Uh, yeah. Thanks for watching. We'll be back with more on this bike. We really love it. We'll be back. Thanks for watching. Okay.